we've already done quite a bit of work with exponents um, and we've built up a fairly reasonable set of rules which I've written out for you here. These are rules that you really, really need to know very, very well because you're going to be using them all along. They are rules that make sense, so you, they won't um, be hard to remember. You know that a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n because what's a to the m? It means you've got m lots of a and uh, a to the n means you've got n lots of a. And they're all multiplied together. How many lots of a have you got all together? Well, that's m plus n lots, right? You can picture it. So... They're not hard to remember, but they are important that you know them. And now we're going to apply some of them to simplifying um, some uh, expressions. Now, the important thing to notice with these rules here is, you know, this rule requires that you've got the same base, right? You can't do it if you had an A here and a B there, right? And the same with this, the division rule, right? It has to have the same base. So if we're faced with a question like this one, where we've got a 3 and a 6 and a 27 and a 4, we actually can't progress here because we've got different bases. So we can't apply these rules um, of multiplying together or dividing. So what we need to do is work to get everything in the same base. And you should notice stuff. Like you should notice that 27 is just a power of 3 and 4 is just a power of 2 and 6 is made up of 2 times 3. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do in order to simplify. We're going to try and write everything in terms of the same base. So 3 is nice and simple. We'll just leave it like that. But the 6 we are going to replace by 3 times, we're going to use that little central dot as a, the time sign, times 2 to the power of minus x. So notice that it was 6 to the power of minus x. So what's exactly the same as 6? It's this whole thing here. 3 times 2, right, is the same as 6. So what I write Let's just make that neat again, otherwise we're going to lose track. What I write in place of the 6 is 3 times 2, right? And that's all to the power of minus x. Again, what I write in place of the 27, 27 is 3 cubed, right? So 27 is 3 cubed, and that's to the power of x, because it was 27 to the x, so it must be 3 cubed to the x. And again, what's 4? 4 is 2 squared, and that's to the power of minus x. Now, I can use some rules to help me sort this out. So, 3 to the 2x, nothing happens to that. Here, I'm going to apply, for this bit here, I'm going to apply this rule. Right? This negative x the power applies to both the things inside the bracket, so it's 3 to the negative x, 2 to the negative x. Mm, that doesn't look very neat, let me just rewrite it, negative x. Okay, and then at the bottom, I am going to be using this rule here. So it is 3 to the 3 times x, so it's 3 to the 3x, and it's 2 to the 2 times negative x, so it's negative 2x. Now, I have some bases that are the same, so I can use this rule and this rule. So with the 3s, okay, I have got 2x, and then I've got 2, because I'm multiplying them, add on this thing. And then the next 3 here is at the bottom, so I have to subtract off. And then I've got my 2s, and here I've got 2 to the minus x, and then I've got this at the bottom, so I'm dividing it by it, so I subtract it. And now I can simplify this nicely. 2x minus x is x, and x minus 3x is minus 2x. And here I'll have minus x plus 2x, which gives me x. And if I want to write everything nicely with positive exponents, this will become 2 to the x, and this because of that negative 3 to the 2x. Okay, now I've got one that I want you to try and do. Remember, your first um, goal is to get everything with the same base, and then you can apply your laws of exponents.
Pause the video and try this in your key concepts book now. All right, let's go over together. Four is two squared. Eight is two cubed. And 16 is two to the four. And if you didn't know this, right, if you didn't immediately know 16 is two to the four, remember you've learned how to do prime factorization. So you can always do prime factorization on a number to see what its building blocks are, right? So most of these you'll recognize pretty instantly, but if you don't, use the prime factorization to help you. Okay, now we can start applying and we're going to be repeatedly applying this rule to start. So this will be two times 5x is 10x. Here you're going to have 3 times negative x, so it's negative 3x. And at the bottom, 4 times 3x, so it's 12x. And then we're going to be able to use that and that. And so you're going to get 10x plus minus 3x minus, oh, sorry, I left off the x here, minus the 12x, right? This was an x, 4 times 3x is 12x. So it's 10x plus minus 3x and then subtract 12x. So 10x minus 3x is 7x, and 7x minus 12x is minus 5x. And if they wanted us to write it with positive exponents, we'd have to say 1 over 2 to the 5x.